Hello friends, welcome to the channel IT Simplified. So who is responsible for data in the cloud? Sometimes you hear the news that a company X was hacked even though their data was in the cloud. So who is ultimately responsible for it? So let's take the cloud out of perspective and let's say that you are an owner of a data center. So as an owner, you're responsible for the complete setup. You're responsible for that physical building, the infrastructure that you're going to put in place, whether it's physical or virtualized, the networking and the complete stack up to the application and the data that is being generated by that application. Now, let's take that uh, example and put that in the cloud because cloud is what? Uh, you have a company, say for example, Microsoft or AWS or GCP, and they're providing you the data center. They're providing you the infrastructure. Now, the only thing is that you don't have physical access to those data centers, so you're going to deploy your workloads, your application in a virtualized manner, right? So Microsoft is responsible for the physical security. So they will put the security guards and uh, they have certain uh, agreements so that no unauthorized access or no person can just walk into that data center, right? So that is taken care of by these uh, cloud vendors. What happens to the infrastructure that you're going to deploy? Now, when we come to cloud, the way you can consume your services is three ways. You have infrastructure as a service, you have platform as a service, and you have a software as a service. Now, when we talk about infrastructure as a service, as you know that you're still responsible for patching and updates, whereas in platform as a service, that is taken care by Microsoft for you or AWS or GCP, in fact, any cloud vendor. So depending upon which path you take, your responsibility will depend upon that. But ultimately, it's a shared responsibility model. For example, if I'm putting on infrastructure as a service, then I'll be responsible for how I'm going to configure that application. I'm responsible for patching it, updating it. And if I don't do that, if I don't put the latest patches or update that operating system as for the vendor, then I'm opening that for the bad guys to hack it into. So that's critical that uh, I patch it, updates it. Now, when it comes to platform as a service, those overhead things are taken care by the vendor for you, but still I'm responsible for the data which is being generated by that application. So if I don't keep the data secure, if I don't uh, deploy the application in a way that has been, uh, should be, you know, with all the right uh, configuration steps, then I'm opening that up for uh, that to be uh, put in the wrong hands. So ultimately, it is responsibility of you as a user who will be using that services. Cloud vendor will provide you with all the services, all the component that you need to deploy that, but it is your responsibility. For example, let's take example of Microsoft Azure. It has tools such as Azure Security Center. You have Azure Defender. Uh, you have a, a firewall such as Azure Firewall. But again, you need to have those in place so that your data is protected. So ultimately, it is your responsibility. Hope that gives you an idea about uh, securing your data in the cloud and whose responsibility it is. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.